to Learning Bytes, short, sharp bites of information that you can apply immediately into your business. We're looking at how you manage your time better. And on the last Learning Byte, we looked at your flow when it comes to interruptions. When you're in your zone, when you're in your flow, when everything just seems to be coming together, and then suddenly you get interrupted. Now we've got a podcast on how to deal with interruptions, but what I wanted to look at was a way of planning and structuring your day in amongst all these interruptions that come. You can see I've gone and added in a little chart over there. And what this chart is, is what we call an energy and decision making chart. One of the best things that you can do, rather than attempting to manage your time, is to manage your energy levels. Some people have high peaks of energy like earlier in the morning, earlier in the day, and later in the day, and, and they hit a, a low at like lunchtime. Then obviously you would plan to do more of the mundane routine tasks when your energy levels aren't quite as high. You see, when your energy levels aren't as high, your cognitive thinking will typically drop off as well. So anything that requires a high degree of focus and thought, maybe doing tenders, technical documents, research and development, all of those things can have an impact. Another factor to bear in mind as you start to look at your energy levels and how you plan your day, when you will focus, when you will time zone and block off time where you won't be interrupted, is to be aware of something called decision fatigue. Research has shown that we get to make so many decisions in a day and pretty much once your quota of decision making's up, that's it, your, your brain's good for nothing. We often use a term like, your brain's fried, or you just can't really think about it, and even a small decision seems like a big decision. So when you plan your day, when you plan to block out time where you can be totally focused, think about when your energy levels are the highest, and when you're able to think, when you haven't had to go and exhaust yourself making lots of minute decisions. Part of that, of course, is making sure that you've got the systems and structures around you to help other people make decisions without always interrupting you and to keep your own energy levels up with good food, drinking lots of water and making sure you're looking after your health because that affects your energy. Simple actions that you can put in place, planning, looking after yourself and taking action when it's going to be most effective. Here's to your success.